Hey everybody, I have one pickup to show off today. Uh, I filmed the mail day live yesterday, but I'm not really happy with how the video turned out, so I figured I would just film a recap and then go into a little bit more detail than I did in the first take. So, uh, to preface the card, Matthewson has three cards in this set, the dark cap and the portrait. And the third and toughest card of his in the set is the white cap. And it took me months and months to track this one down, and it was the only card I needed for the team set. So uh, when this one popped up, it was the grade I was looking for, which is a 2. And in the SGC holder, at a very reasonable price, so I was happy to add it, but ultimately I've never been pleased with the card. I try and stay away from creases through the face, uh, of the player's face in the card. And this one, as you can see, has a pretty heavy crease. Uh, through his chin and all the way across the card and even through to the back so uh, at the price I purchased this one up I figured I could flip it when I upgraded uh, and and be able to to come out on top which is ultimately what happened many years in the making I've had my eye out for another SGC2 with better eye appeal and this one finally popped up on eBay and I knew I wanted it, and I was just hoping it went for a reasonable price, and it did. The only problem is I did not win it, because when I tried to put in a snipe bid, uh, it said the auction was over. So I've never just missed an auction before by waiting to snipe bid too late. So I, don't, I still don't know how I managed that, but uh, I, it came up for sale in the Facebook group I'm in, Tobacco Row, and... Uh, it was priced about $50 over what it sold for on eBay, but I put in an offer to the seller of what I was originally going to bid, and he accepted, so uh, it's almost like I won it on eBay. It just took a very long time for it to, uh, to get to me. So um, just a close-up of the face. Pretty solid eye appeal on this one, and it might be higher than two if it wasn't for that paper loss on the back. Uh, to show off the back, this is a sweet caporal. 150 over print back and you can see the red box there with the factory 649 uh, this is what the factory number usually looks like uh, see it's a little lower and they just printed the the second 649 factory just above where it would normally be so that's what the overprint means some of the other overprints they have kind of a like a fancier design instead of just a solid red box but uh, just one more comparison shot of the upgrade. Pretty happy with it. Um, I think most people would prefer this card over this one. This one has slightly better color in some areas, but again, super happy I upgraded, and this one has already been sold. So it's one of the best parts about uh, pre-war cards of this era, especially Hall of Famers. If you price them at market, they're going to sell fast because they're in such high demand. So. Uh, happy to sell it and have a much better card. So I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there in the YouTube community. I hope everyone has a nice Father's Day weekend. I will end this video with one last thing. If you play Super Mega Baseball 2 on PC, which is a fantastic baseball game that just came out, uh, please let me know. Maybe we can have a few games. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and have a good one.